time for day 12 of 30 days of sketches. My name is Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper where I love to scrapbook, make cards, rubber stamp, and junk journal. I'm working with four photos and this wonderful sketch by Ashley. You'll find her channel, The Scrappin' Nerd, here on YouTube. I will link to it down in the description. My page for day 11 featured photos taken when we were at breakfast in Las Vegas. This will be a companion page. If you go back and look at the day 11 video, you'll see that I used this paper for the background and conveniently this sketch calls for some borders and these will be perfect for that. The sketch also calls for some circles in the background. So I got out a large circle. It's a Fiskars paper shaper. I went ahead and cut this paper with it. And I think those are gonna kind of look like plates on the layout. So this is really fortuitous for sure. I'm gonna place this all on this paper as the foundational page and I think it will all come together. These papers all came in a paper pack. I've long since cut it down. I don't have the information about what the paper pack was. It probably came from Michael's. I think it may have had a macaroons type theme. The first thing I wanna do though before I get started is just to use this salvage patina distress oxide on the elements here just to help them stand out a bit more. I used the salvage patina on the page for day 11 as well. So when I put these pages in the scrapbook, they'll, it'll look like a two page spread, even though I'm technically doing these as single page layouts, they will match together nicely because the papers are all from the same paper pad. And of course the photos, are all telling the story of our breakfast in Las Vegas. The companion page has the journaling on it, so I'm not gonna worry about journaling today. And I also want to, because I know it's gonna be the right-hand page, I'm gonna kind of flip this orientation instead of the borders being in this corner, I'll put it in this corner. That way it'll, it'll look nicer in the album as a two-page spread. I'm recording this at home and I'm also at a crafters conference this weekend, so I don't have my usual ATG gun. That's all still at the crop. So I've, I'm using some Nouveau craft glue to get this layout adhered today because I didn't think about the fact that I had left my ATG adhesive at the crop. So we'll just make this work, won't we? I don't mind using a different adhesive. It's just not, not my preference to use anything but the ATG on my scrapbook layouts. I think having the consistency of these papers on both layouts is really gonna look nice. And the layout calls for just two photos down in this right corner, but I have four photos, so I'm going to use them. You'll see that this paper I'm using to mat with, in day 11, this was the center of, taken from the center of that layout. So I'm really stretching that paper quite far. which feels great to use every bit of that paper.
I want to be sure to tell you that 30 Days of Sketches is hosted by Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. I'll link to her channel down in the description. There are also lots of creators playing along and you can go to the playlist down in the description to see all of their takes on this wonderful sketch. Let me know what you think about this layout. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone. <laughs>